welcome back to the channel guys slav squad here today is a video that uh it's kind of a long time coming kind of not really because i wasn't really expecting that this engine would need a top end done as you guys can tell in the title we're rebuilding here the 140 which is a fairly new engine but i don't know it it seems like top end might need to be done it smokes a little uh keeps dying uh things like that hard to start sometimes so we're doing the top end on it and i'm going to show you guys how exactly that's done how easy it is you don't have to take off the whole engine to do it you can just keep it right there on the bike it's really not that hard uh would take me less than an hour if i wasn't filming but today's video is sponsored by t-bolt usa as you can see they're sponsoring our channel they sent us out with look at all these stickers bro every color out there and got the banner go hang it up right there for you guys hooked it up with some shirts two of them for me and peter probably some nice bar pads cup holders and of course we have the top end kit the gaskets and the piston so let's put on this shirt let's hang up the banner and let's get started both sides and you can pop the, pop the carb right off pop the fuel hose off turn off your fuel after you've done that you got the carburetor off pop this guy right off and just set on the side like right there this is gonna leak as soon as you lay it down so lay it down in a spot where you can let it leak after you've taken the exhaust off and the skid plate off this could be a good time to take all your oil out of your engine usually you would start the engine let it run and uh, get the oil warm enough so it all comes out but we didn't do that so you guys do that but I'm just gonna do it how it is right now as you can see this oil is kind of overdue a little bit wipe this down We already cleaned off our oil bolt. You don't have to tighten this really hard. Now you go on this side of the engine, and this is a size 10. You unscrew this, and while you're unscrewing that bolt, you're holding on to this plate, because this plate will fall off. So make sure you hold on to that. for the little roller that's in there. Let's cover off and set the engine on top dead center. The way we're gonna do that, there's a little notch right there. And then this notch has to be right here. I gotta match. The T right there is for timing or top dead center. And that little notch right there, that has to match right there. Basically keep it right in that spot. Now we're going to crisscross pattern. And just a little bit at a time. These are your head studs. Keep track of where the washer that comes out with the copper, or the copper washer, this guy comes out at the bottom left corner. 
goes. Apparently my phone decided it was too hot and died. I don't know how far I got in film, but got the head off the head and then cylinder. Just doing a little inspecting of the piston. Now we're gonna pull the ring off right there and then pull the piston right out. So we're doing some piston inspecting. There's scarring here. It's not terrible, but there is some. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit of carbon buildup, no problem. What we need to test is these the compression rings. We're gonna test these two rings. I think this is the main one. We're gonna put it in the cylinder and check. We also want to inspect the cylinder. Make sure if you can put your finger inside there with your fingernail and if you catch anything, you got a problem. And you need to go get it honed out. A lot of people recommend honing it anyway whenever you pull the head. But, you know, I never really do it, so no big deal. This one not catching but you can feel that there is some scarring proper way go get it home uh, look at that you got the banner all set up looking pretty pretty sick boys and the boys wearing the shirt it's like my my engine building shirt right here what's good so what I like to do get your old breaking parts cleaner you can use contact cleaner yourself a scotch bright pad scotch bright pad get yourself some glasses on it's a good idea to wear some gloves basically just want to clean off this whole surface so it's nice and sh nice and smooth I'm gonna do that to this as well I am gonna take one of these guys and I'm gonna clean out the inside of here also going to run with scotch brite pad there, scotch brite pad here. You don't want to use this here because you don't really want to damage the outside and scratch it because then you'll have a problem with the gasket actually sealing it. And I'm going to yeah, basically do that and clean, clean this out as much as I can. And I'm going to clean out this side. I'm going to take this gasket out. Yep, nice. Now we're just going to do the same thing. Put you guys in a time lapse. Oh, we'll do this. Take some. I did take the spark plug out after I started cleaning. The spark plug was getting really dirty. Now we're going to take some oil in a little cap and we're going to pour it in there. Take your finger. Make sure your napkin isn't falling apart like mine and leaving crap behind. You don't want that inside. I'm going to clean that back up and use a microfiber towel instead because that's leaving stuff behind and we don't want that. Okay I used the new towel we cleaned this up and I thought this would be a good time to take the old compression ring on the old piston and then put it in here and see what our gap is. Even now we're gonna take take a feeler gauge and 
can see what our gap is. I can already tell by looking at it that it's a pretty good size gap. Yep. 0.017 is how is the ring gap from the old piston. Now let's put on the new ring and see what the gap is. We got the new ring in there, if you can see. And I can just tell by looking at it that the gap is smaller. So let's see. Uh, we did have, if you guys haven't seen our video, our last video, or not our last video, but dang, it's good a lot. we did a compression video on all three of my bikes, and this one had pretty low compression. So I'm assuming that compression ring was the issue, but we just did a 0 .006. It was a little too small, so it's between 0 .009 and 0 .10, so smaller gap for sure. We got our piston from T-Bolt USA, like I said, and you get uh, one, two, three, four, five rings. Two of them that are like this and really skinny, and that's the oil ring that goes at the very bottom, like there, wavy ring. And that one goes in the same in the same slot above it. Uh, but basically, you put that ring on, then you take the other skinny ring and you sandwich the squiggly ring. Then you take the two thick rings, put it on here. The very dark black one, I believe, goes there, and then the one that's half black and half like silver on the side goes on the very top. This can be kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like putting these rings in. Sometimes they are beating in the buttholes. Well, I'm gonna struggle here for a little bit. And then when I get it on, I'll show you guys. Got that ring in there. Before we put this in, we're gonna get some of this assembly lube. Just lube this all up. There's an intake and exhaust side. Intake's up, exhaust is down. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go to the move the bike, go to the other side, put this ring in. Now wouldn't be a bad time to put this guy in. bottom left and the rest of them is gonna be regular there is no torque spec like online that you can find but I'm gonna do these to 20 foot pounds I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern when I'm doing this with that all torqued down, we actually ended up doing about 17, 16 foot pounds. So, felt like plenty to me. Now, I'm gonna make sure this is still on T. Now, I'm gonna put this chain in with a sprocket. Okay, let's see where this is. I think that's pretty good. Do it right there. These need to only be put at like 10 foot pounds. Okay, let's double check. Perfection, dude. Sick. We got this guy put back in. 
Now, we're going to get this cover put on. And that needs to touch right there. Don't forget your washer and your bolt. And this one, do not over tighten because it will easily break. All right, so basically that's the majority of it, the most important stuff. Now you gotta put the carburetor back in, skid plate, exhaust. It's all stuff you guys already know how to do. So I'm gonna quickly put this thing back together. Uh, I don't have any oil on me right now, so I gotta run to the store, grab some oil. Uh, for oil, use whatever you want. Uh, I have some of this Castrol. Uh, it's a 1040 4T motorcycle oil. Any kind of 1040 motorcycle oil will do. You can even run Rotella T6 1040, I believe is what it was. I run those in all, a lot of my bikes and a lot of my toys. So yeah, we're gonna do that. There's no oil filter on these bikes, on these engines. So we didn't have time to go to the store and get some oil to test the bike if it runs, but I'm 100% confident the bikes will run just fine. And I really, really hope that this video encourages you guys to do some of this work yourself because it's, it's really not that hard. It's really pretty simple, uh, especially after you do it once, you'll be able to do it again, no problem. And it just gives you some sort of confidence in your bike and it, it makes you feel great that this is work that you did yourself on your bike. So I hope you guys get encouraged to be able to do, try this stuff on your own and learn something new. Cause it's, like I said, it's really not that hard. So let's end this video off with a little bit of fun and let's get out on the water and ride them jet skis, boys. Oh, look at all these guys. Sheesh. the crap out of him. Oh, I think he's coming back. Uh-oh. That's wrapped for this video, guys, today. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and supporting us, as every subscriber makes a big difference. Every view we get makes a big difference. We can get some more ad revenue going so we can do more pit bike projects like because of all the views and everybody that subscribed we bought another pit bike and that pit bike is going to be sent to the moon and into the lake that's for next video next week on um, tuesday so you guys better stick around and watch that video because it's going to be epic it's going to be a lot of fun but yeah, if you're not subscribed, like I said, hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends, like the video, comment, and uh, any ideas for the future, let us know. Any questions, let us know. I try to get back to everybody that I can. And don't forget to follow us on our other socials, TikTok and Instagram at Slav Squad TV. And if you guys need any parts, hit up T-Bolt USA. Those guys are really awesome. If you don't know what parts you need, just send them an email and tell them what's going on. I'll have the link in the description down below. So don't forget to hit them up for any of your pit bike needs. But we'll see you guys in the next video.